What up, collective? My name is Delilah, and I am the owner of Star Seed Direct. Okay, this is going to be <clears throat> a collective energy reading, and I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe helps me continue to keep this energetic space open to share with you. Okay, I also want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you that have participated in this month's light work mission. I am um, currently gaining momentum and possibly reaching out to multiple shelters in my area um, to get these donations to them. Okay. If you don't um, donate financially, if there's anything that you would like to ship to us to participate in helping these domestic violence survivors, abused women and children, you can check out a very specific donation Amazon wish list that I'm putting together. You'll find the link in the description box below. Okay, these women need all all different types of things. I have listed a few items that are non perishable. If you would like to purchase any of these said items, um, in regards to the package that we're putting together. Okay, thank you in advance for your participation. Love and light to you. We're going to go ahead and start off with a chakra wisdom card to see the energy that we currently need to be focused on today. Okay. All right, collective, we have the fifth chakra, which is the throat. Truthfulness. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth and I speak it in a loving, considerate way. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth and I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. I am careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Okay, so this is the energy that you need to be in collective. There's a difference between speaking your truth and speaking your version of the truth. Okay, I'm getting clear audiently a defamation campaign or someone in regards to stretching a truth to their benefit okay give me one second I got my high vibe oj here i'm also hearing immunity okay that mean may mean something for someone here we go Okay, now keep in mind, collective, that your truth may trigger some people, okay, with trigger warning coming out. What I'm getting to, collective, is that this person may have tried to control a narrative or a way that people view you, possibly spread rumors about you being sexualized or over-sexual or maybe um spread lies about some kind of infidelity situation and spirit is saying they know you're not a hoe okay so this person possibly did this to control other people from pursuing you okay um ultimately spirit is advising you don't lower your vibration that's what they want okay the right person is going to you know, want to find out for their self and not listen to someone who you're not even with anymore if you're not with this person. All right, let's get an angel number for the reading. I petition to the guardian angels, the most high, and my spirit guides, my ancestors. Please give us an angel number subsequent to the energy that's coming out on the table right now. We have six. We have three, we have three. So you want to look up the number 633. All right, okay, and we're getting double confirmation with the picture die showing that this is very significant to this message, okay? So if you want to look up the angel number 633, it may be congruent to possibly giving you guidance from your angel guides or mine or both 
in regards to this message, okay? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and um, get an overall energy, Holy Spirit. The overall energy of this is abandonment, okay? Abandonment with the five of pentacles. This could speak of financial loss. This could also speak of being left behind in a situation or left out of a situation, okay? Maybe this person didn't speak their truth or collective spirit may be petitioning for you to speak your truth and what you survived, okay? Because it's going to put some light on a particular situation that up until now this person controlled a narrative about you that simply wasn't true and it's time for you to be honest with yourself and speak up on what you survived or where you are now congruent to this situation okay <clears throat> absolutely you need to speak what you have survived from because it's going to help others that have possibly been in that same situation or similar situations okay with the six of wands crossing this energy this is you <clears throat> obtaining a victory over a situation that you were left out of or abandoned by and by you speaking this truth it's going to people are going to celebrate you <clears throat> using your throat chakra okay the fifth chakra also is symbolic of change whatever you speak your truth about this situation it's going to change a dynamic of things whether that's the people you speak it to or to yourself okay possibly how you view yourself is what i'm hearing okay <clears throat> as above you have the page of cups this is sim symbolizing some kind of childlike innocence energy okay that you foresee this possibly is something that happened in the past in regards to a child or maybe something that happened to you when you were a child you need to speak up about this particular situation because it's going to shine light to others okay maybe you are a motivational speaker maybe you are a social worker maybe you are a counselor okay this could be anyone's reading this could also be symbolic of someone trying to accuse you of being promiscuous and claiming that a child isn't theirs. But once you speak your truth about this particular situation, it's going to be a domino effect for everyone that's involved, okay? This person tried to leave this truth in the dark and control a narrative as to why they don't want to play their role or why they didn't partake in their role of a situation. And once this truth is revealed, it's going to be a victory for you. Okay. What's below this situation? The page of swords. Okay. So... In you speaking this truth, this person could be spying on you. This person could also be trying to control the narrative through what they're viewing. Okay, I don't know if they're spying on your email, your phone, you know, your devices could be tapped. This person is obsessed, okay? I'm getting very strong obsessed energy. You possibly have moved on from this person, but they don't know how to move on. And you may need to speak your truth about this person possibly being mentally unstable okay with the swords coming out this is someone that's possibly in their head about what they're seeing okay but with the as above and so below energies both being pages this is speaking of an immature energy or childlike energy okay so in lieu of things in the way that they're coming okay in a higher aspect dimensionally Okay, you want to consider this good news, but the reality of the situation currently in the 3D is that people are looking upon this situation with ridicule, okay, and possibly waiting to gain intel in regards to a particular situation. But as far as your spiritual journey, your higher self knows that this is good news because this is progress in your particular situation. You may have reached a certain point in your own personal journey 
with your victory over some kind of financial loss or abandonment in the past, okay, possibly due to a situation um, involving children, that you're going to be able to help other children or other people that have been through this type of, whether it's abuse, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's working with, um, you know, survivors of sexual abuse, it's definitely in regards to some kind of, um, you know, developing and helping others by telling your story and what you survived, okay? You see this as an opportunity. You may be divinely guided to this, okay, from the Most High or your spirit, guys. You see this as something that you need to possibly make time for or see a way in producing out of this energy because you may have gotten a sign or you may be getting a sign in the near future that this is a direction that you possibly need to go in, okay? Most people may consider this, I'm also hearing grieving counseling, grieving counseling. You may need to go speak to a grieving counselor in regards to this situation. I don't know if you recently had someone pass away or, you know, there's something in regards to a transformation that's happening here and <clears throat> others are appearing upon it as something that's affecting them some may not be affected in a positive way possibly because it involves their role in doing something dirty to you but ultimately by you doing this this is you paying it forward and providing a substantial amount of knowledge and experience that may help another person whether that's an adult or a child avoid making the same mistakes you did or helping them heal from a certain um situation or circumstance that they also faced okay other people are going to see this as you speaking your truth okay in a particular situation this is really good that the development of this is all aces so far this is literally divinely guided by you speaking this truth not only is it going to bring you penance okay for this particular situation it may also heal the children you speak to or the adults you speak to or it may heal your children if you're a parent or it may heal you your inner child is what i'm also hearing clear audiently but it's going to allow an open avenue for you to speak your truth and possibly gain opportunities in doing so you could be a public speaker okay what may <clears throat> what may turn out to be a possible challenge in the situation is the emperor card so it could be your boss it could be a father figure it could be someone that is trying to control a narrative okay that doesn't line up with the actual truth of a situation this person also may have gone very very far lengths to keep the truth hidden and ultimately spirit is leading you to speak said truth okay because at the end of the day this person made their own bed and they got to lay in it all right, the outcome, wow, collective, I can't even make this up. The outcome is the strength card, clarified again by the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Speaking up about a particular situation, despite this controlling boss or father-like figure, you could be literally dealing with your father, you could be dealing with a higher authority, you could be dealing with the father of your children, but you need to speak up the truth about this particular situation and speak up about how strong you had to be to be able to speak your said truth. Okay, whether that is, you know, to authorities or, like I said, counseling others, okay? Because you being truthful and honest with yourself is going to open up opportunities for you to help others in that particular situation. This person may be trying to skirt their, you know, their responsibilities by painting a picture to other people that you're promiscuous. But spirit is saying right now that that's a lie. This person may also be burdened by these lies they spread, okay? That's getting clarified by the Ten of Wands. They're getting burdened now for the things that they said.
okay? Knight of Swords. In their higher self, they're burdened by this good news, by your healing. This person is upset that you healed, Collective, from whatever this situation is. The Page of Swords is getting clarified by the Knight of Swords. This person in the 3D is spying on what you're doing and trying to deflect their own involvement in your demise, okay? Let's start clarifying these Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit. Right. <clears throat> you see this as a new avenue to not only bring in abundance, but for you to be brave, okay? And communicate passionately about something that matters to you. Not everything, when you lead in passion, when you lead in something that means something to you, the Most High is going to bless that and find a way to bless you financially. Maybe you went into this situation not realizing that maybe, you know, you were doing it just out of volunteering, right? Maybe you were doing it as a way to give back, to help other people. But because you took that step, okay, with childlike innocence and wonder, right? The Most High said, okay. I see now what you're doing with this situation. You want to help others heal from something that possibly they similarly went through. Whether that was with an abusive ex, you know, child abuse, you know, you fill in the blank. You're speaking a truth about a situation that you're very passionate about and is going to bring new opportunities for you. Okay? In speaking this truth, it's getting clarified by... God, the lovers, okay? You could literally be speaking a truth about a Gemini or you could be speaking a truth about a connection, okay? It doesn't mean that your father figure, your boss or your ex-husband or your the father of your children is a Gemini. It could be, but this also speaks speaking a truth about some kind of connection, okay? Maybe I'm speaking to somebody who is currently going through this situation right now. If there is abuse in the home, please go get help. Do not try to stay and fight that alone. It will get worse. Take it from someone who has survived. You do not want to put that on your children, okay? Trying to stay for the kids is toxic. All you're doing is continuing the generational curse of abuse and toxic behavior. This person would rather that happen to save their own reputation. So because possibly you're deciding to leave this situation or you have already left this situation, this person is trying to control the narrative now to make you look like a bad parent, okay? Or um, a bad person. I don't like to use the word victim because I personally don't see myself as a victim. I see myself as a warrior. And... You too can war through this and persevere, okay? I want you to know that you're not alone. There are many people that go through this. You will also, if you, you know, are very controlled with controlling lover coming out, maybe this person looks through your phone records, your emails, whatever, and they're keeping tabs on you, okay? I'm going to list a hotline number below, okay, that you can contact in the event that an emergency situation is popping off, okay? They're very discreet. It's a toll-free number. Even if you have to borrow someone else's phone or um, I believe they have some kind of um, incentive that works. It's a nationwide hotline, so they'll be able to get some help to you, okay? This is serious. That's coming out. Clarifying the Emperor... is temperance this person has been trying to possibly heal their controlling behavior i'm also getting this person may need healing okay they could possibly be a sagittarius doesn't have to be but this particular person is not healed and this is why they do the things that they do okay this person may be trying to heal a situation due to something that has happened in the past, okay, or is currently happening. 
All right. The strength card is getting clarified by the queen of pentacles. So ultimately, you knew that you had to venture out and branch out on your own. And in doing so, you're getting this ace of pentacles energy yet again. Okay. This particular person may be judging how you get your money. Maybe the rumor that was spread was, oh, you hook for money or you prostitute your body or you sell you know, naughty photos or videos online for money or whatever the rumor is. The truth of the matter is none of that is the truth and you need to be honest to overcome the fears about speaking your truth, okay? And speak them in a loving, considerate way. You don't have to be rude about it. You don't have to. Yeah, I'm sure you're upset, okay? But once you speak this truth, this tower is going to come crashing down. The tower has to fall, collective. You cannot hide this tower anymore. It's going to trigger some people. It's going to trigger people that wanted to bury this truth, but ultimately it needs to go down, okay? You may have to get authorities involved, all right? With the Hierophant clarifying the tower, it's going to bring down an organization of things. This may speak of crooked authority. Maybe by you speaking the truth about a situation, a whole slew of people are going to have their wigs snatched, okay? I'm not even playing. A, a whole government entity may be having a tower moment right now due to the many parties that's involved, okay? And this shit has to stop. It has to stop. This may involve children. This may involve some kind of level of abuse. Okay? Yeah, by a father figure who allowed all of this to happen. Whether it is the father of your children or your physical father, somebody's father. Okay? Because now you're getting that clarified by the king of cups. Okay? I mean, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. doesn't have to be. You also have... I mean, you have all the elements here. It could be anybody. But this person is spying on what you're doing and they have a whole lot of opinions to say about it. But they may be trying to control a narrative because ultimately they're trying to make it look like you hook for money or you do something promiscuous for money. And the reality is the real reason they're spreading these rumors is because you walked away from this situation, okay? And and you telling the truth about a situation, it's going to cause a tower moment for these people that spread lies about you, okay? They possibly could be spreading these lies because divine judgment is coming down upon them. And you know once you speak this truth about this situation, these people are going to be judged accordingly for the role that they played, okay? You could be possibly dealing with a water sign or an earth sign or both, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Gemini, very strongly and prominent here, okay? So all of these people possibly could have worked together to try to control, you know, your finances, a narrative, or the way that you have persevered collective despite all of these rumors and the things that they said you still found a way to be self-sufficient to take care of your children to do your inner child healing work because your strength superseded whatever whatever kind of plot that they had for your demise and because you did that god continues to bless you with the ace of swords and two ace of pentacles coming out you are definitely covered by the most high why? Let me tell you why. Because this Queen of Pentacles is really the Empress. Okay? That's why. Because you hold the light, Empress. And because you hold the light, they can't compare where they can't compete where they don't compare. They may be looking back at this situation now. Okay? And looking at how much they made off of you. I'm also hearing Claire audiently. They made something off of you, collective. They made abundance off of your hurtful state. They made more money mind-fucking you, right? Excuse my language, but they made more money off of manipulating your pain and monopolizing off of it 
possibly the pain of your children as well, okay? Yeah, I mean, the magician. They definitely manipulated a situation, okay, for it to work in their favor. But now these people are worried. They're worried. You could possibly be dealing with a Capricorn. This person is worried now that if this truth comes out, you're going to not only be in your power, but you're going to be independent. And ultimately, maybe that was the whole the whole thing all along, collective. You were independent this whole time, but these people try to lie and say that you weren't, okay? Mm. This truth, you speaking your truth about this situation is going to bring in new energy for you. You will be blessed abundantly. People are going to know the truth for what it is, and you're going to inspire people to do the same, to speak their truth, okay? Because this is going to create a domino effect in personal empowerment and development by telling your truth and letting others know who you are, what you went through, and how you positively uplifted yourself, your children, if there's children involved, your situation, and other people that may be going through that same situation. By hearing your truth, it's going to illuminate something in them, okay? To allow you to move forward with your head held high, okay? This is why these demonic attachments on these people are so worried. Because when you speak this truth, it's going to really shine a new light on just how toxic these people are. All right. Let's go ahead and close. With a motivation manifesto for today. Okay. I hope y'all are enjoying your Friday. I will be taking some personal time with my children after they get out of school. To have a family night because I feel like that's important after the long, hard work week. All right. Holy Spirit, please let us get a motivation manifesto. Mm. Wonderful. Collective. Love is always the final and most complete cure to our inner demons. Absolutely. Because you know that if you move forward in love and light and sharing you taking the time, you may not go into this thinking you're going to gain anything from it other than you just trying to help other people. Maybe, you know, you're going, like I said, maybe you're a motivational speaker, you're a counselor, you're somebody telling their story. You're speaking to people that is going to allow them to not only be edified, but re-encourage them to speak up about their own particular situation that maybe they're afraid of doing. And in you doing so, this is you expressing love, okay? Small acts of kindness show the greatest love, collective. Never think that even the smallest smidget of light work isn't going to hold a lot of weight in the heavenly realms among us, okay? Every good deed is accounted for in Metatron's book. Now, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you, and until next time, bye.